children are already suffering from unprecedented budget cuts. Our district has suffered many cuts to our budget. Because of these cuts, the district is suffering. We have to lay off over 30 teachers. Those teachers spent their time trying to educate the future of California, and now they don't have jobs. By cutting this money from schools, we are hurting these, our, these students' futures. Who's going to care for your generations as seniors? We will have to. Who is going to discover future scientific breakthroughs? Breakthroughs. We are. By cutting money from schools, you are directly impacting us, yourselves, and future generations. This money is directly needed for us as a district, a state, and a, co a country, and a world. Thank you for listening. All right, um, I'm a seventh grader at Sequoia Middle School. Well, um, there have been a lot of budget cuts, as you guys all know. And without all the fun stuff like, you know, music and wood shop, school's just going to be like a prison. And the only thing we're going to look forward to is when we get home. So we, we need to fix this. Do you guys know who owns this building? No, not Governor Schwarzenegger. He thinks he does. <laughs> we all do. And do you know who everybody in here, including us, works for? You, that's right. So when you go in there, take pride of ownership. But think about how great this building looks and how important it is and how your schools should have that same kind of look and feel, maybe better. We keep asking teachers to do more with less, and then a lot of people, when they don't get the kind of results that you shouldn't expect when you expect more with less, blame the teachers. Is that right? Should we be blaming your teachers? No, we should look at ourselves and hold ourselves accountable. So tell us not to cut, but tell us to support you too and tell us to fight for you. And I'm really glad to be here with three colleagues from the East Bay who believe in this and believe in fighting for you. So thank you all for coming up here. Thanks for sharing the microphone. And when you go in there, tell your stories and keep telling us all that you are the future of this great state. Thank you.